kind of correlate this to also a bias issue, right? You know, because I do a lot of work on unconscious bias. And the reality is, is that we have created like this unconscious um, idea of what domestic violence looks like. So just like you just shared, um, it, it we have this idea, it looks like bruises. It looks like something that you physically see, right? And someone crying in the corner. But as I shared earlier, I was a high performer. So there was one season in the beginning of my situation where it there was a change because um, my, my supervision did mention to me that, um, you know, they noticed the change in my behavior which resulted to um, reprimand, it changed, it, it caused me to um, a transition in my job where pretty much I lost a position and I had to be transitioned into another role, mm -hmm. which again now affected my, my funds because I was one of the primary um, breadwinners in the household and that caused more turmoil in my home. And again, when you are a domestic violence, um, you're dealing with it, you know, you want to like people please, you want to please the person. So now when I, did get back into a new role, it was like execution, execution. So now I became a high performer. So if you have someone that's performing at a high level, you have some somebody that's getting the awards, they're getting the accolades, they don't look like, you know, you're smiling and it's like, you know, Sergeant Thomas, you are just killing it. You're doing it, you're getting promoted. It doesn't look like you are navigating domestic violence. So just like I tell people in unconscious bias, when you're navigating DE and I, we have to really go through the process of unlearning, right? This false idea or this narrative of what certain things look like and start relearning the actual differences, right? Learn about financial abuse, emotional abuse, how it looks differently, how it looks different. They even talk about uh, spiritual abuse, you know, how people can use religion and spirituality as a way to abuse a, par abuse a partner um, and really start learning about these different components so we can recognize the different faces of it and we can really be um, supportive and be effective bystanders in the workplace, in the military, when we are supporting those, um, again, our team members, um, as well as if we're leaders within an organization because again if we continue to lead by these ideas that we have we could be missing opportunities to really support those that are around us